Greetings and salutations, my dearest friends. My name is Samantha, and today we're going to be doing another book haul. I do a lot of book hauls on this channel. <laughs> so, in my last video, I said that was going to be my last book haul, and I lied. Ugh. I didn't intentionally lie to you people, but there was a good sale on eBay. Here are 54 historic romances. E, so many. Hey, let's talk about them, guys. Um, I don't know how else to explain this video other than I buy a lot of books. Do you get a lot of questions on where I buy my books, how I find them for a cheap price? So eBay is like the best place to find historical romances because you can find book lots for a really, really cheap price. I know that the mystery boxes are becoming really, really popular, which just makes me so happy because that is an actual bookstore that is packaging and sending out those packages. So it's amazing that they're getting such a good feedback for it. I think I did like my first mystery box in March and I still get questions on it and what seller I use. Yes, they do still sell the mystery boxes. I believe it's still free shipping. I'm going to link it down below if you guys want to get a mystery historical romance. If you're looking for specific books and you want a really affordable price and don't mind used books, most historical romances are going to be used. Uh, Thrift Books is my second favorite place to buy books, so I will also link them down below. Yeah, we're going to jump right into the books. I did just want to share where I find my historical romances because I do get questions. First book is Surrender My Heart by Lois Gremain. This cover is so beautiful just like the definition of a bodice ripping cover. Shocked to hear a scoundrel offering to sell his own sister, Southern gentleman Justin Stearns pays the rogue $700 to rescue the innocent waif. But the absurd urchin turns out to be very much a woman, a sultry, flamed-haired enchantress named Megan. Okay, cool. We'll read that. Next up. Oh, this looks really similar to that Lisa Kleypas book. Oh gosh, I can't even remember the name. I can't remember the name, but this cover reminds me of Lisa Kleypas. This is Only By Your Touch by Stella Cameron, and this is an Avon romantic treasure. Oh, this cover is beautiful. What is this random hair? I'm shedding. I'm shedding. This is called Virgin Fire by Elizabeth Chadwick really love like the pink background kind of reminds me of like a sunset is she in a bath she's in a bath she's in a bath we love i think this is a western it looks so much like a western oh she is in a bath and it talks about it in the synopsis it says as the proud owner of one of the few bathtubs in rough tumble spindle top jessica parnell was designed 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 wow i can't read basically people these grimy males as the synopsis says, pay her to use her precious facilities. The most persistent male to come for her for this bath is her estranged husband, Travis. Okay, all right. They describe it as tail of a tub. That is the weirdest description I've ever heard for a historic romance, um, but it's definitely a Western. Next up, we have Past Promises by Jill Marie Landis. Looks like this. Where we've gotten some really good books. I don't have any of these books. This is what the step back looks like. Very nice. Very nice. I believe this is another western. We're getting a lot of westerns. I don't read a ton of westerns. Cowboys. I mean, cowboys are sexy. Sure. Give me a cowboy. But I just, I haven't read a ton of westerns. So I definitely need recommendations. Like, who is your favorite author? What is your favorite western? Historical romance has so many different, like, sub-genres and tropes. It's like, I will never stop finding new things to read. This one looks interesting. This is by Catherine Kingsley, and it's called No Sweeter Heaven. It is described as a clash of culture, a bond of passion. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, this book is gorgeous. And it reminds me so much of that pink book from Lisa Kleypas, Where Passion Leads. You guys know I've been hunting for that book and I can't find it anywhere. Well, I can find it on Amazon for like $800, which is ridiculous. I'm going to put the picture of the book on the screen so you guys can just drool over it with me but this book reminds me of it this is every dream come true by barbara benedict looks like that very very pretty this is in really good condition there is no cracks in the spine and the pages aren't yellowed at all they're like white <laughs> which 
obviously most book pages are white but you get a lot of historicals that have those like stained edges it's fine this is a pirate's lady by robin lee hatcher i love a pirate romance so that looks like we have a step back oh the step back is so pretty this is heaven in a wildflower by patricia hagen flower detailing on this book is like slightly raised which i just love love this orange cover and then you open it and get a really beautiful step back we have another book by katherine kingsley this is no brighter dream looks like that so far most of these have been set in the 1800s which is like the most popular time period in historical romance i feel but i'm really craving like a medieval romance ever since i read kingdom of dreams so let me know if you guys have any recommendations but i'm not supposed to buy any more books so maybe don't let me know your recommendations who knows i swear i cannot I swear I have been staring at this book for like the past five minutes. I The cursive is like so elaborate that my brain is like not processing the word. Raw, hide, and lace. Is that what this book is called? Raw, hide, and lace. That, that doesn't sound right. It's by Margaret Brownlee. Margaret Brownlee. Okay. And this cover is very scandalous. He looks very pleased with whatever they're doing very scandalous we love it the next one is by rebecca brandewine who i have heard of and i have a few of her books but i don't have this one this is beyond the starlight frost and this cover is so pretty because it's like metallic oh we have like a map i never see maps in historical romance that's interesting next we have the sea princess by wanda owen so she is the daughter of a sea captain and he is the rugged captain of the sea princess a british lord who showed her passion she could only dream of scandalous we love it the other one by elizabeth chadwick is wanton angel which looks like another western and we have our voyager horse like on the spine of the book in the wild romantic years of the rocky mountain gold rush oh have i ever read something during the gold rush i don't know Anything could happen, and usually did. Okay. So Aaron Court was not surprised when he rode into Ammonville to find it engulfed in flames. Oh, what? Wow, okay. What did surprise him was the vision of beauty he saw standing on the blazing balcony of the fallen angel brothel. This synopsis sounds very interesting. We have a fake step back, ladies and gentlemen. We don't like those in this house. But we have one. This is called Pirates and Promises by Anne Caldwell. I feel like I've heard of her before. And you have the cutout for the step back. And then it's just blank. It's like a design. Nobody wants that. I want the sexy people on this cover. Okay? Where, give me the step back. Bree wasn't really a princess. And Justin wasn't really a knight. But as children, such things were possible. Just as the locket he gave her was a real promise of marriage. Now, 11 years later, Bree is of age to wed. But her beloved Justin is far away in America. So sad. Her family plans to marry her off to a man of title and wealth. But Bree longs for something more. And oddly enough, her wish comes true when she's kidnapped by a highwayman. Is this going to be like The Highwayman? You know, by Kerrigan Byrne? That's a second chance romance too. I really have been loving second chance romances. I used to say I didn't like them, but that was also a lie. An unintentional lie. You know, I, I, I hadn't read enough to really appreciate the genre. Next is Temporary Mistress by Susan Johnson, which looks like this. Okay, this next one is a duplicate. I do have this book, so I'm going to set it aside for a giveaway. This is Silver Angel... I can't talk today. This is Silver Angel by Johanna Lindsay. Kidnapped and sold into slavery, Chantelle Burke was led into the Pasha's scented chambers, swearing she'd never surrender to this ruthless master. So it's a kidnapped romance. I haven't read this one. I have read a few Johanna Lindsay and just wasn't overly impressed. I know she has like so many books, so I'm hoping to find one that just like blows my socks off. I did like Gentle Rogue, but even then it was just it was okay. Okay, so we have a step back. Yes. This is Just This Once by Jill Gregory. Looks like this. Just one touch. Just one kiss. Just this once. Sweetheart, we know this is not going to be one kiss, okay? We know how this works in historical romance. 
This is what the step back looks like. Very pretty. Next book is Fires of Winter by Roberta Gellis. I believe Johanna Lindsay has a book called Fires of Winter. And I didn't like that one. Uh, hopefully I'll like this one. This one is really, really pretty. Although our heroine looks like she's scheming something. Oh, it's medieval. I was just talking about how I wanted a medieval romance. Yeah. It says the windswept plains of medieval England were torn by the raging struggles of royal conquest. All I needed to hear was that it was a medieval romance. Next up is A Night Well Spent by Jackie Ivy. And then night is spelled K-N-I-G-H-T. Very clever there. Very clever. Next up is Catherine Cutler. This is Warrior Song. I've heard a lot of good things about Catherine Cutler, so I'm excited to read this one. But unfortunately, this is a fake step back. No sexy people. Tisk tisk. We have a real step back. This is The Return by Diana Hager. I don't know if that's how you pronounce her last name. This one is interesting. We have a mustached hero. You can see like their cutouts in the front of the book and it reminds me of like the Brady Bunch, the way it has like the circle and she's looking down at him. Anyways, this is an Eloisa James and it's like brand new. This is Three Weeks with Lady X. Never heard of this one, but I know a lot of you guys love Eloisa James. Having made a fortune, Thorn Dauntry, the powerful bastard son of a duke, decides that he needs a wife. But to marry a lady, Thorn must acquire a gleaming civilized facade, the specialty of Lady... I don't know how to pronounce the name. I don't know how to pronounce the name. Not even going to try it. Lady X, as the book calls her. <laughs> Was it headstrong and independent? Lady X vows to make Thorin marriageable in just three weeks, but passion explodes between them. Love it. We have a horse rocking the front cover. This is Dreamcatcher. It's set in 1754 in Virginia. Cool. Very excited. Next up is The Lady Meets Her Match. Looks like this. This looks like a Cinderella retelling because on the front of the book it says, what if Cinderella doesn't want her shoe back? Okay. Cyrus Ryland didn't become Inglis' wealthiest bachelor by playing it safe. No, my friends, he did not. And the mysterious tart-tongued beauty he discovers sneaking around at his mass ball inflames his curiosity. When the clock chimes midnight and she's nowhere to be found, Cyrus vows to scour all of London to uncover who she is. Little does he know that not only does Claire Mayhew not want to be found, but she wants nothing to do with him at all. Oh. Now I'm confused because it says on the front of the cover, it says, what if Cinderella doesn't want her shoe back? On the back of the book, on like the review portion, it says a refreshing Georgian spin on Beauty and the Beast. Oh, that's one of her other books. She has another book called Meet the Earl at Midnight and that is a Beauty and the Beast retelling. This is a Cinderella retelling. So the whole series is retellings. I'm catching on. I got it now. <gasps> I saw this book on Instagram and I wanted it so bad. I was looking on it at thrift books and I couldn't find it and I was looking on eBay and I couldn't find it and little did I know it was being sent to my home. How wonderful. I got really excited. This is, oh I'm so excited. This whole box was worth this book because it's so pretty. This is The Prince of Midnight by Laura Kinzale. I am so reading this book for the buzzword readathon. I think the buzzword readathon is night. I'm really excited to have this book. Does it have a step back? <gasps> it does. How wonderful. And then this step back is also on the back. So this, this book is awesome. They called him the Prince of Midnight, a legendary highwayman once dashing and dangerous, now a tarnished, forgotten hero, exiled and alone. I need to like narrate audiobooks, right? I can really bring the drama. I know. I might pronounce everything incorrectly, but I'll bring the drama. Very excited for this book. Next book is by Tanya Ann Crosby. This is Angel of Fire. We have Redeeming the Rogue by Donna McMeans. Looks like this. This takes place in Washington, D.C. We're really going everywhere with this historical romances. Because, you know, the only traveling we're doing now is through books. So, Does it take place in Washington, D.C.? Because the beginning of the book says London, 1881. Maybe they head to America. 
Michael Rafferty is an agent for the Crown on the trail of a conspirator champion championing Irish independence through acts of violence. The trail leads to Washington, D.C., where Rafferty must assume the role of a diplomat in order to set a trap for the villain. To complete the pretense, he'll need to transform his coarse image and find someone to portray his wife. Oh, so he's a detective. He gets this girl to pretend to be his wife as, like, a cover-up while he hunts for someone who's trying to reach for the crown. Cool. We'll read about it. This is Tides of Splendor by Luann Walden. A chance kiss and a sudden seduction unleash an eternity of passion. Passion. I love it. The author I've heard really good things about is Elizabeth Lowell. This is Beautiful Dreamer. Elizabeth Lowell usually has a really pretty step back, so this must be a reprinting. Next, we have Bright Captivity by Eugenia Price, and this is book one of the Georgia trilogy. Looks like that. Next is The Vow by Juliana Garnett. She was the enemy he must destroy, no matter how much he wanted her. Scandalous! Oh, this cover is so pretty. This is Come Be My Love by Patricia Walters looks like that. Next up we have An Exquisite Deception by Elizabeth Douglas. Guys, we still have quite a few books to go through, so I'm going to power through it. We're going to breeze through them. Next is a book by Amanda Scott, an author I have heard about. This is Dangerous Illusions. We have A Pirate's Pleasure by Heather Graham. Lots of pirate books. Next is Rush to the Altar by Jane Feather. I have to read the synopsis for you guys. It says, Jasper Sullivan, Earl of Blackwater, needs a prostitute. Not in the usual way, however. His wealthy uncle promises to divide his huge fortune among his nephews if each rescues a fallen woman by marrying her. That's a really weird condition to get an inheritance, but I'll read about it. We have a little bit of a shorter novel. This is Tidewater Seduction by Anne Mathen. Next up is Yours Until Dawn, and this one does look like it has a step back, which is wonderful. How pretty. Another little short book. This is A Handful of Heaven by Kristen Hanna. Kristen Hanna. I've heard that name before. Does she write... I can't think about what she writes, but that name sounds so familiar. Anyways, this is that one. Next is a Heather Graham book. This is Surrender. This step back. Ooh, this step back is pretty. We love. I like that background. You like this background? Uh -huh. My sister approves of that background. Goodness, we're just getting blessed with the step backs. This is The Deed by Lindsay Sands. Oh, I'm so happy we got a Lindsay Sands. Uh, you guys have recommended her over and over again. Then... Here is the step back. Oh, this is her first novel. So this was her debut novel. So hopefully it's good. Another one with a step back. This is Midnight Warrior by Iris Johnson. Like stacks and stacks of books all around me. I don't know how we're going to organize this. My books are organized alphabetically. So I probably should have been organizing them as I was going. But I didn't do that. Next, it looks like a Christmas novel. This is Promises to Keep by Karen Harper. Is it a Christmas novel? It is. Christmas, a time for giving and love. How sweet. Very excited to read this. I love Christmas novels. You guys know. Next, we have Winter's Flame by Maria Green. We have Proving Herself by Yvonne Jocks. We are almost done. Almost done. This is Winter Song by Karen Lockwood. We have Never Call the Loving by Gail Link. And I believe this is a Beauty and the Beast retelling. Or at least that's how it makes it sound on the synopsis. Next is Beloved Rogue by Dena James. Dina James. Sorry. My bad. We have another Rebecca Brandywine. And this one is called The Love Knot. Another Eloisa James, but I do have this one, so I'll set it aside for a giveaway. This is When the Duke Returns. Next is The Seduction of a Duke by Donna McMeans. And then the last book is from Kristen Hanna. This is If You Believe. It has a step back. It does. Oh, this is a beautiful step back. They're having like a tromp in the apple forest or something like that. Love it. Okay, we have been sitting here for a really long time. I had to like stretch out my legs. 
I just went over like 54 historical romances. So hopefully you guys are still here at the end of the video. If you are, you're awesome. That's all I got off of eBay. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This will hopefully be one of my last book hauls because at this point I'm buying too many books and I really just need to read the books, okay? Just take a step back from the computer, take a step back from eBay. I deleted the app and everything. I have hope, I have hope that I'm not gonna buy too many books. I don't know if I'm actually gonna do that. Who knows, maybe next week I'll be back with a book haul. That is probably more likely. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed all of the books that I showed. If there were any authors or books that you really like and you want me to read, let me know and I will totally do so. Thank you for taking time out of your day to spend time with me. It means the world to me and I hope you guys are all staying happy and healthy. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!